things take time. Yeah. So like you said, like from when you met me, going from broke to where we are being <laughs> rich right now, that was not within three months. No, hey y'all, his his braces just came off last year. Like I just that's <laughs> you know what I mean. Like that's what I'm saying. Like. You want to set it off? No. Gang. I gotta do it all the time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You all decided right, you wanted to be head of the household, so I don't want to hear that bullshit <laughs> at all. I don't want to hear that. All right. Anyway, this is a good segue to the podcast. Gang, what up? I'm your host, Swaggy C, or a co-host, like you said last there time. This is my other co-host, Bailey Amethyst, and we are talking about uh, why most women are single, and I guess men too. Why mm -hmm. most relationships don't work, and we are qualified to talk about this. Yeah, we've been married for four and a half years and together for five. So, and we have both had some failed relationships ourselves. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely and yeah. i think my answer in general kind of like goes to our story okay because we're the opposite and i feel like i don't know we can just go right into it so you, you we can talk go about right it. Into it but i want <laughs> i do want to play the clip first oh you want, you want to start off with that yeah i want to start oh, off we'll with, start with that okay we'll start, I want to start with the clip because right, i feel cool. like it's a good segue all right cool so we have a clip from andrew tate and we're going to watch it and react to it uh, to start the podcast off i don't think the world has ever been equal i'm not saying that women should completely and utterly be slaves i'm not saying that I'm saying that the modern society we live in has been built by men. All the roads you see, all the buildings you see, everything around you, men built, all of it. When women come along and say, oh, we're, we're just as important, you are just as important, but you do had a completely different role. You fulfilled a different role in society. And I think now, if you look at the roles of society, I believe men are still doing their job, but I don't know if women are doing their job. Women's job always was procreation, to look after the family and to look after the man. That's all that they had to do. And the man would go out there and risk his life and spend his time building the modern world. Men are still out here building the modern world. But when they come home now, the girl's like, oh, why should I cook for you? I think, I think women are failing in their role. I think women are failing. <laughs> okay. You can start the podcast. No, off. I want you to start with your, your feelings and your thoughts about it. Because, about that? Yes, That's different I, than the other stuff. Well, well okay so i feel like that has a direct correlation to why relationships are failing okay. um just because so gender roles and like roles and relationships that's a whole gang of a topic that could be a can of, of, can of worms of because i don't necessarily feel like it's all like gender specific roles but i do think that plays a huge part on it especially because of the way that we're like brainwashed as kids like when you're growing up the same thing that they say of like girls are taught to play with dolls and they're taught to change diapers and mm -hmm. caregive and mm -hmm. men are taught to play with trucks and all kinds of like stuff like that yeah. so it's like now we're in a position to where like we play with toys as we're little to to play house as we grow up so a lot of it does have to go into like how the interstructure of a family works huh. but i do want to acknowledge the fact that a lot has changed since like the you know the days that he's talking about of like men going and working yeah. on railroads and yeah. signing up for the army like y'all don't do that shit no more so so why is my role expected to be the same but however i do think there has do, to be though. a balance who do. who does if you look at the statistics of how many men are, are in the fields and in uh, oil fields and, and construction it is like I, I believe it's like 99.2% like in terms of mental I'm not well, talking no, about men women no yeah, but even that let's let's yeah. go for there yeah. so if you're working a construction job mm -hmm. or working an army job, mm -hmm. like because there's still people that I know that are in the army, I don't feel like the roles in their relationships have changed very much. Like my friends that are in military, mm -hmm. them people still get married at 18. Oh, I agree with that. They yeah. still that live on the military yeah, 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 base. They still be yeah, yeah. popping out babies yeah, yeah. and their wives cook. That like it it's different. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about like the modern society, which is what he's talking about, of like modern society has changed so much Great. to where it's like, one, there's that whole 50-50 thing. So a lot of women are mad about that. Two, it is a situation to where it's like, we're not in a situation to where these men are going every day, working, bringing home money, and the, the girls just at home. These women are expected to go to school and work and do their jobs themselves and then still expected to provide a meal. That's a different conversation. But no, if you watch a lot of Andrew Tate stuff, what he's saying is that if one woman choose that lifestyle because of their expectations are too high in a man. Do they, they though? Yeah, they do. I, I think they do. I think, I think like... When he's talking about a traditional, traditional woman, a traditional man, uh -huh. you know, back in the day, and this is, I don't agree with this, but what he's saying is that women back in the day were virgin. When you met a, a yeah. woman, she was a virgin, she was yours. Yeah. Nowadays, when you meet a girl, she has 20 bodies. You got to deal with that. You yeah. got to deal with all the ramifications <laughs> of, her, of her exes. That's not a traditional woman. She no, want, that's she a fact. Doesn't want to cook. Doesn't know that's how to cook. Fact. Doesn't want to clean. Doesn't know how to clean. All she uh -huh. knows to do is OnlyFans or nursing school or, and, she, and she's doing that because she's trying to survive. You know what I mean? But also nowadays, the modern day man is not. 
uh, like you said, um, I think they're still trying to build the modern world. I feel like females are, are building a modern world just as much. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like this is a very urban representation, though, because I feel like since you're from the East Coast, and we talked about this ever since we got married, since you're from the East Coast, you see things very differently. Yeah. So, like, East Coast, L.A., like, all the coasts, they all have a different type of caliber of women that beyond some crazy stuff. Okay. Like, where I'm from in Missouri, we're taught very differently. <laughs> so, like, I was taught with, like, okay, you want to be a virgin when you get married. You know, obviously I've had like the whole essay situation that uh-huh. didn't go well, but I was taught it. Essay? Sexual assault, babe. Oh, oh, S-A. S-A. essay. Essay. Like writing. S- no. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> no, sorry. Essay gotcha. situation so that didn't go, as, but it was still yeah. like ingrained. Yeah. And then like I've been raised to be a wife. Mm-hmm. Like ever since I was little, like, okay, I know that as a wife you do these things and it's not, I never thought of it as like, you like, oh, this is brainwash, or oh, he's trying to train me. Like, I just thought, like, oh, I want to be a wife. I want to mm-hmm. be a mom one day. So these are the things that I need to learn how to do. But you can't talk from a perspective of you. you but that's to, what yeah. I'm saying. But since I've left the bubble yeah, yeah. of, like, that Midwest bubble, I'm like, holy crap. The like, it is here. wild yeah. out yeah. here. Like, these women, no shade, they just don't have the tools, or they, even if they did have the tools, it's not on their agenda, and that's okay. Absolutely. So I've been learning different people's perspectives of, like, there's some people that don't want to be wives, you know, Absolutely. but for the women that do desire to be wives they don't have the skills that's where i kind of feel bad for them because they're like i want to be a wife i want to be a mom but nobody taught them to be submissive nobody taught them to cater to anyone other than themselves everybody thinks they deserve pre- princess treatment everybody thinks they're a 10 everybody thinks that they should have that's a man a, a you fact. know rolling out a red carpet Absolutely. but it's like girl Absolutely. And, and i can talk about both sides you know when it comes to women like there's there's a select few who like are down and understand mm-hmm. it all. Like, I feel yeah. like I've got to go and I feel like our videographer Brandon has a good one. I feel yeah. like a lot of people like, yeah. like are French, right? Yeah. But in terms of the masses, realistically, yeah. just like you said, a lot of women want the princess treatment. Mm-hmm. I saw a girl on Twitter, I'm gonna put the screenshot up here, where, and she got killed, mm-hmm. luckily, by men and women, where, uh, <laughs> she got like, she got asked out, or, or she asked somebody out on a date, something like that, a guy, whatever, so he's like, okay, cool. And then she was just like, I think later when she was ready, she was like, what time are you picking me up? And he's like, oh, I didn't know I was going to pick you up, but just send me your address and I'll come over there. And she said, really? Bye. And like, You're the him. one who asked him out. I, but you know what I mean? But it's like crazy, because it's like, he just said, oh, I didn't know. Okay, l- like, let me know. I'll come pick you up right now. Yeah. And the fact that he didn't know it beforehand she yeah. blocked him and she got killed on twitter about it yeah, you know what i mean silly. so it's like m- women don't communicate yeah they expect the most mm-hmm. they want a guy who is over six foot tall yeah who makes over 100k and i'm not even lying like if you look at all the women the who's statistics. like the statistics yeah. and and you look at them shorts on youtube where guys interview girls and like how much did you should a man make a year no, oh 400k 100k that's 200k and only one percent of the population makes over what 52k yeah. something along those lines so you're saying 90 percent well 99 percent of the population wants a one percent but there's only that one yeah women w- yeah. well a lot of women want too much and then they give nothing in return in terms of they don't know how to cook or clean or be submissive and they don't come with whether it's a virgin or low body count now they have 15 20 it's like why should a man commit to that now for men at the same time if you i don't think men out there if they found a girl who was a virgin who does it all would i mean some men out there would but nowadays men don't know how to cater to women's love but languages whoa 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 let's pause for a second because Go you're going in a little hard i'm Remember, just no, I, I, said, I said i could talk about both but sides you're right you know I mean? but you are also like just like you're saying like i'm coming from the percent the perspective of like a girl from missouri that's been raised a certain way you're mm-hmm. coming from a one percent perspective so you can have the perspective but we give me, give me example, like mean. you are over six foot you have an athletic build you make over six figures no, 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 so no. you're coming no, from no, that but, mindset but, you know, let me finish let me finish what okay. i'm saying is that when you met me, I wasn't those things. That's yeah, I, I was six foot and athletic. I wasn't making money. I didn't have good teeth. I was I was straight <laughs> out the hood. I was ba- I was doing all this crazy stuff. And you saw potential in me, and you was like, okay, I can fix this. I can help, and I can I help like, them grow. I like a project. So, so that's, that's my yeah. point. But like, it wasn't just a project that like you failed in. Like you helped me excel to all the stuff that I'm doing today. And I feel like, mm-hmm. and I'm in my answer right here. That's why a lot of women are singles because they want the man already. They made. want the man already made, mm-hmm. and men at the same time don't are looking for a oh, traditional woman from 60 years ago and that's yeah. the time we live anymore they're just yeah. not gonna be okay with. they want to date their grandmother exactly yeah exactly so okay so a few things i got a few chunks from him so women i'm talking to you directly um don't be afraid to make your man and i know that sounds like a little bit crazy but um a lot of times people say like oh you can't get married to potential that's a, a true and a false statement because there are certain people that you know that like they have potential but they're toxic and you know they're not good for you that's yeah. a whole different statement than seeing somebody who has the potential to grow into you know an amazing person and you're spending your time investment in it like a, a relationship is an investment and in every investment you get a return on interest so if you are doing this correctly you should have a return on interest and in the investment that you're making that's number one. Um, number two is the one percenters that are already making it. 
they already got people that invest that's been invested in them they already got people that are on their tail and they got people watching them so you are signing up to have a competition it's just like professional athletes you want to sign up to be on a roster or do you want to sign up to have one person that's going to look at you like this person really invested in me and believe in me and all those people that are the nba dudes already got girls from high school middle school that already invested in them so i just think it's smarter to look at someone that's your own and then help build them i always said i wanted to be with the person and build an empire rather than coming to somebody's empire and they think that i want a piece of it nah i got absolutely. my own Absolutely. Like, you know? and, and just like, because you said a lot of things in there, which I like, because yeah, it's like, you. it's like if a man is already like lit and already a 1% man, he yeah. doesn't need yeah. a woman to come in and be like, well, I want this. I want this. I want hat. Like, yep. he needs you to, to be su that. supportive. And then on vice versa, I know women out there who are making millions and, yeah. and fine. She doesn't need a man to come in and provide. She may yeah. need a man for something else. Yeah. And I think people don't understand their roles in that yes. regard so talk about that people bring in they come into situations with their own perspective and i understand that everybody has their own dream but you made a good one i think it was off of um the shop of like hey not everybody's a ferrari not everybody yeah like, yeah yeah you yeah. need to be playing your role of like sometimes i need a dump truck to clear some stuff out like some like it depends on what the person needs from you and i think because i grew up a people pleaser i look and analyze things in a different way of like what can i add to the situation that's not already there Absolutely. i don't want to come in with my own demands of like well i need a man that does this and da, 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 da. because if i play my position right my man's gonna do all that so i don't need to i don't need to be like i, I need this money and i need it no because he's gonna want to spoil me he's gonna want to take care of me because i'm taking care of him but a lot of women come in of like prove yourself to me girl you just missed out on a big bag that's a like fact. you missed you, out you on missed your out. bag because you that man would have literally spoiled you if mm -hmm. you would have just given him the look because another thing is most men are not getting the look like women we get compliments all the time you're so pretty you're so smart oh yep. my gosh girl guys do not get that they, they get, get they talk about on Twitter. tough yeah, enough yeah, tough yeah, enough yeah, like yeah. you know like they don't don't so cry when, your mental health doesn't matter exactly yeah, or even sure. like getting like dubbed in school of like not everybody's a popular kid not everybody gets that like oh you're so cute love so when somebody comes and they look at you and they say i see you i see a potential in you let's build that is sometimes all that person needs and That's they will fact. go crazy and then you're gonna drop your bag because you see somebody else getting spoiled and you're comparing your life to some instagram chick you're tripping like yeah and you gotta have patience that, yeah. that's the biggest thing that females yeah. who are doing that gotta have patience or men like however like the, uh, it, it works everybody just has to have patience in that because if somebody's gonna invest in you things take time yeah so like you said like from when you met me going from broke to where we are being rich right now, <laughs> that was not within three months. No, hey, y'all, his, his braces just came off last year. Like, I just, that's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, everything okay. that happened did not happen yeah. in three months. Like, mm -hmm. it was time where it's like we focus on one thing and then, like, the boundaries issue when it mm -hmm. comes to family members and adjusting to that. And then the money. And then, like you said, looks and, and housing. And then, kid, like, Jesus. everything you know, took time and I feel like everybody wants, you know, somebody complete already. Overnight. And yeah, and, and, and it sucks because I feel like, like you said, like that is the number one reason people are, are, are single. Yeah. Do you have any more advice to, to give to people? Because I feel like we talk, there's a lot more there's to, a talk lot about. to talk about. And we can still talk about it. But I will say things. this. Okay, so I want to flip the script really quick because I want to uh, talk about the people who choose to be single. I don't think that's a topic that's talked about enough. That's true. Because I do think a lot has changed in the modern world of men are not the same like providers in that way of like, they might go and they might get a job mm -hmm. for something, mm -hmm. but it's not like the same, like I'm risking my life every day to Absolutely make sure not. you're safe. I'm not yeah. hunting and gathering yeah. thing. Um, and a lot of men come with a lot of ego. And yep. I don't think that's addressed enough. Like men think just because they're men that you need to bow down and be all like whoop de whoop submissive. Like you got to give me something to submit to. So there's a lot of women who are choosing to be like, mm, I'd rather not. Yeah. Like men are, and like no offense, but in a lot of cases, men are only good for one thing and that's procreation as well. So a lot of times they're like, oh, women are supposed to procreate. Why does that me because you're a man just i don't okay, care but I'm better than I'm all just, the men out there <laughs> period baby you better say that i'm just saying so a lot of women are like hey like give me your seed i will make a baby and then guess what it's my job to raise the baby anyway a lot of men don't know what to do or help with the baby Absolutely. you think you're just bringing in extra money you really don't even contribute that much so let me take the baby and let me go like there's been a whole wave of women starting like compounds with their friends and just raising their kids together and i think that's dope like if i didn't have a husband that i love dearly i would be like bet y'all grab y'all kids let's move into a big ass mansion and let's raise our kids together so like that is another example of like the happiness aspect of like there's a, been a study that like women are happier like being unmarried just because yeah. men are hard to deal with like yeah. it's it's no, not an easy job like the, the new age men is being crazy and crazy and that's the one that's one of the things i fault i like yeah you know fault andrew tate for is that like 
people watch his content and they turn to something that he's not they nah, have he, the he's not even audacity. that's what I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. like Andrew Tate doesn't mean act that way but they they take what they want and then they act that way so prime example is like Andrew Tate extremists yeah th- these one percent red pill weirdos they're like they're they're talking down to women like you oh, said yeah. they don't ha- bring any money to the table they just think they got potential but they think they can start now treating women this exactly. way they think they can judge women for However, anything. They, anything in general yeah. for for their past when they didn't even know them or what they're doing currently or how it's not living up to their expectations. I think men have just as much fault in all of this in terms of uh, why they're saying in terms of women. I don't think a lot of people in the world are gonna find find happiness, which is why, like yeah. you said, pe- uh, women are raising like you know kids and and, and growing their families together because. A lot of the new age men are weirdos yeah. or they like they just want sex and that's it. And they don't see nothing more to certain women and they, yeah. they do that purposely. Yeah. And I don't understand that. I never did. Uh, so. Thank the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's weird. So it's like hard. Like there will be men of like, yeah, like these girls. No, look, look within. Y'all all yeah. need to do a nice little mirror check, some, some mirror work and look within because a relationship is hard. It does take compromise. And if you don't see yourself in a situation to where you can compromise and you really don't need to be in a relationship, like read, read a book. Okay. Do, now, do some healing. Now, now switching a little bit, uh, talk more about, because I also saw this on Twitter as well, where, a female won't even entertain a guy mm-hmm. if they're splitting things 50-50 yeah. as opposed to telling the man what she wants mm-hmm. and then allowing them to grow. Yeah. So talk about that and your thoughts on that. Um, okay, so the 50-50 thing is a very touchy topic. What is it? The 50-50 thing is a touchy topic for a lot of people mm-hmm. because they're like, absolutely not. So I will say this. Um, I don't believe in 50-50 relationships. Um, but I do believe in percentages, percentages changing throughout the relationships. So when me and Chris first met, our relationship was not 50, 50. It was more like swaggy. Excuse me. Sorry. (laughs) Don't call me. We're on camera guys. Don't call him him Chris. (laughs) Me and swaggy first met. Our relationship wasn't 50, 50. It was more like 75, 25 and I'm holding down 75. And for a lot of these women out here, they would have dubbed him immediately. They would have been like, oh, no, da, 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 da. But I don't care because I got it. So why can't we have it together? If our relationship is supposed to be 100, we're going to make 100. And I think like even the old school like married couples today, I saw a, a video of like, how does your you know marriage work after 50 years? Me and my husband will come to the table and be like, hey, yo, I got 40%. And he's like, I'm going to pick up the other 60. Or he'll come to the table and be like, hey, I'm, I'm riding five today. And she's like, I got the 95. Like, I'm going to hold you down. Who did that? Uh, this married couple. Oh, gotcha, I'll show gotcha. you the Twitter. It's, gotcha. it's dope. Gotcha. Of like, yeah, like whatever he doesn't have, I'm going to have. But that's because I committed in a relationship. Now, if men are coming to the table and they're saying 50-50 split no matter what, I'm not bending. That's crazy. That's different. That's, that's different. crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I, I feel like that's what we're on. Like, yeah. you need to pay for half of your meal. You need to pay for half of the rent. No, that's not that's how stupid. this works. Because yeah. if I got it, you got it. And if you want to take care of me, me and uh, Swag made a decision. Hey, babe, you've been taking care of us for a while. He's saying this to me. You're good. Don't, don't feel like you have to work anymore. I'm going to take care of you. But let yeah. anything happen to this man. I'm getting my butt up. I'm working. I'm not about to leave him because he's down and out. So I don't really agree with the 50-50 mentality. And I feel like that's for people who don't really put their hundred into a, a relationship. Yeah, I agree. And you got to have like a, a common goal. So like when me and Bay, like I just said, she first started, it was, I think it was 50-50 for the first four months because we just got off a show. So yeah. we both had money. Then at, afterwards, what you got to realize with reality TV, you don't want to go back to a regular job because you've been on TV and all these followers now. Yeah. So I wasn't getting brand deals and Bailey was. So she was, it was the times where it was, like I said, 75, 25, but also like maybe 98 too, where I would just cover the groceries and stuff and Bailey would take care of the rent. But she knew I was working towards something. So every single day I was studying the market and studying business, studying trading, everything I could do. And that lasted from January, not January, maybe February to September where like Bailey was like taking care of things. And then it got to a point to where we got another TV show, cool, whatever. I put that money into a trading account, started a business, started trading like heavily, made a lot of money, and Bailey hasn't paid a single rent or bill in that, in that regards in the last three and a half, four years. And <laughs> and I like that. And and but and but it's also because in the beginning you told me that mm-hmm. like yeah, this you, is my desire. You, I communicated my that's desire. That's the thing that you that people got to yeah. see. She told me in the beginning I would like to be a stay at home wife. I would like for you know a man to take care of all the bills, but I would take care you know everything else in terms of the family yada yada. She told me that like when day one of us dating, you know what I mean. Speaking of which, what's today's date? Is it our anniversary? 28, 29. Okay, the 31st is our anniversary of, oh, of dating. I, I knew that was coming up. Okay, cool. Long okay. story short. Yeah, but, so she told me that, let's say, the third, right? Mm-hmm. At, a few days after we started dating, right? Um, so we knew what we were working towards, but we also knew, which we talked about patience earlier on in this podcast, that it may take some time. It could take three years, four years, five years. Luckily for us, it only took one year, but it could take time. And I think that's another reason why. Now, 
with Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle, <laughs> that I'm I'm on the fence with that. I don't. I it, I'm so, not. But but no 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 no. Let me let me explain why really quick. Okay. Because Dwayne Wade has made over 500 million in his career. Yes. Like NBA endorsements, maybe even more than that. Maybe I'm because he just bought a percentage in, in the Utah Jazz, so maybe he has a lot more than that. And Gabrielle clearly hasn't done half of that. Mm-hmm. So in in that regard, first of all, like I like I I'm already in the mindset of men should pay all the bills no matter what, right? However, when I watched his podcast, he said they got into an argument one time and Dwayne Wade was like, well, this is my house. And Gabrielle said, okay, now we're going 50-50 because you'll never be able to send it to me again. So that's why I'm half and half because something happened for my that to happen. Like, something happened. Okay. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't no, no, see that. I just watched it maybe oh like last gosh. week. So that's why I'm half and half. I do believe a man should. But well, aren't they married? They are. But I, I do agree with Gabrielle's point where it's like, you're not going to talk to me like that. So it's like, now I'm going to pay my share because you, you're never going to say this is my house no more. But you okay, know what I mean? but so that's why I said. But these people are off, offering, like they're operating on like prenups and stuff. So he can probably say that. He, yeah, maybe, but, maybe, yeah, but, yeah, maybe. Like, it's kind of crazy. Um, you know? That would be crazy to me. Like, okay, I'm shook. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that. I didn't know. That. I just watched that's the last. That's new information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like. I feel that for her, women and empowerment. But then we would have to have a separate conversation on like our marriage because it's tough, you're yeah. not gonna t- like you're not gonna talk to me like that. Period. And if we are like married, this is my house. So Absolutely. what do you mean? If you want to have an attitude, go to that room over there yeah. and straighten it out. But you're not gonna kick me out Absolutely. or like make me feel weird in the house, kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So that's interesting. Yeah. But I'm not feeling the fifty fifty in their relationship, and it's their relationship. So I don't got no opinion to comment on, mm-hmm. and I, it's really like not set in stone. Of course. But just because of like the money difference. The money difference. Of like she is like Gabrielle Union is a phenomenal actress. Yep. She has made such a hedgeway. But mm-hmm. one we know about the inequality in like black actresses in Hollywood. One like two we know about being actors just being underpaid in general and mm-hmm. not being able to like make their money stretch like that. Mm-hmm. NBA, you've been in the NBA longer and like that's your girl. So so let her money stretch. Let her relax. And it's not I like agree. you're struggling. So I just don't like that part. I agree. And it's tough because if you look at the percentages, I'm a big percentage guy, it's like let's say their their house or expenses is like forty thousand a month yeah. that includes everything, right? Mm-hmm. She may be and as half and half would be twenty and twenty, she may be spending 31%, 30, yeah, like you know 30%. what I mean? Something like that. Yeah, Whereas yeah, yeah. he's spending like two or Especially, one. Especially, no offense, this man done brought all these dang kids to the table. So, you know that, what I mean? My half is going towards you and your. That's what I'm saying. No. I, don't, I don't agree with, with yeah, that. That's way not, too much. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, those are her kids too. Uh, yeah, but and I'm just saying exactly. Of yeah, like, yeah. if we were really going to go and be petty and do it t- like tick for tick, then we really need to be, okay, let's let it split it percentage because this part is for you and your kids in your side of the house then i only take up this amount of room so i'm gonna pay 20 30 percent not 50 50 because that's not fair yeah i don't think it's fair she, but I, yeah I, and i think you know switching back to us i think our, our dynamic right now is amazing this is advice that i would give you can give it to them as well we can okay. end the podcast is that like for me i feel like if you're somebody who is like me who's an entrepreneur who's built you know how i'm built i feel like you should want to provide for your family no matter what no matter how you can do so you pay everything you make sure you're there you do whatever they need and i feel like the woman in the regard should support the man in his endeavors. The man should support her, whatever she wants. And the woman take care of the house, the family, everything, make sure everything's all smooth. Um, and I feel like that works. The roles could be reversed. The woman could do that. And cause I remember at the time when you was doing, you was paying the bills and stuff in our first year of dating, you'd come home, the house was clean and I was taking the trash. Tra- <laughs> I was sleeping. Yo, this man I was, was doing <laughs> dishes. The laundry I was, doing, was, I was folded. I was everything. Like, yeah, so I feel right. like no matter what the roles are, men, women, women, men, what, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. whatever it is, like, like you said, hold it down earlier on. You mentioned last thing I'll say the shop. And what she means is Rich Paul was on the shot with LeBron, LeBron show in the barbershop. And he said, Rich Paul was talking to, he was negotiating with Tristan Thompson and other people. He was like, listen, you can want to be LeBron all you want, but you're not going to be. So at the end of the day, LeBron's a Ferrari, Kyrie's a Lamborghini, and Kevin Love is, you know, a G-Wagon. Tristan Thompson, you're going to be the Ford F-150 truck, yeah. truck but you're going to make $150 million, you know, be in the Ford F-150, play your role and the whole team will flourish. And as a result of that, right. they won a championship. Exactly. You know? Versus going somewhere and trying to be a Ferrari and you, you're not built like, that you're way. Not built that way. Yeah. You know, and that goes into business where people try to be the CEO and they leave Ooh, and they, they get in the debt. That's a different podcast. Go ahead. And on that note, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> no, that's go ahead. Another, another I know, I know, I know. You give your advice. Um, <laughs> no, on that note, my advice would just be um, drop your egos at the door, especially when it comes to relationships. If you are looking to be in a relationship with anyone, um, you're 
it's going to be a lot more humbling and compromising than you would even think to begin with so all of that is not necessary get to know the foundation of a person and if you feel like you can build together and it's going to be a real partnership then that's what you go with don't come in with all these material you know ego driven desires you can have goals of course um but just don't cheat yourself out of love or cheat yourself out of a really good relationship being um materialistic and having unrealistic goals and i'm gonna and i'm gonna give them one last example of like and i want whoever's editing this video to put it <laughs> side by side and i want the women out there to see if they would date this man versus this man oh. um and not if you had a choice i'm okay. just saying just in general right mm-hmm. i'm just thinking right just saying right now right okay. would you date this man Six four, mm-hmm. very athletic, mm-hmm. no money whatsoever, no car whatsoever, still lives with his mom, 23 years old, messed up teeth, and is has no manners whatsoever, <laughs> banging you know, <laughs> all, all this uh, crap and all this other stuff, right? Like, would you take that person? And people would say no. Yeah. You know, or, or whatever you say, right, in the comments, right? Now, would you take this person on the side? Six four moderately athletic <laughs> or something a little little yeah. little chance still play basketball formally right athletic. formally athletic yeah. right but teeth is better more manners uh ceo of a company that's doing 25 million a year and but doesn't have all the time in the world to spend at home a lot of women would, would and, choose and makes you sign a prenup I didn't do, do that. No, no, I'm just adding that to the character. Oh, but I'm talking about myself. <laughs> Both people were oh, okay. with myself. I want to say this is a prenup. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, just kidding. Most women out there would choose the, the the second over the first. And if it's a comparison, I get that. But at the same time, it's like if the first comes to you, Bailey was smart enough to be like, this person I can work with, I see potential and, and, and things of that nature. And I'm pretty sure Bailey can do the same structural breakdown in her regard. And no, I think men would date you out there. That's and you know what? Here's my flex on myself. Bailey is bad enough to bag them both. I could have had my choice, but I chose to go with the the one that I get to grow and learn with because I felt like that was a better option for me at the time. Um, but now I have the second one, and I feel like it's a nice fit too. You basically have both, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yep. On that note, we love you guys. Um, we could literally talk for hours. So we want to keep this going. We want to keep the podcast going. Make sure you drop your comments below. Let us know what your thoughts are. Um, And let us know what these hot button topics are because we want to talk about it. Later. Gang.